This is going to be part two of a three-part series on the diesel heater, a review with YouTuber Monica of Disadvantage Journey. I've asked Monica to give her honest opinion of the diesel heater. I'm sitting here with Monica and Eddie who purchased this diesel heater and put it in and just love the heat. So we're going to ask some questions about this heater. Um, in your, uh, Monica, in your opinion, well give me the, the good things you like about the, and then I'll ask you the bad. What are some of the good aspects of the, the heater? Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> it, it's it's more like the heat from a house. Um, it's very nice dry heat. It, um, it it's quick to heat up everything. Um, you don't get all that dampness from other heaters, and it's not a huge draw on your electricity. So the the heat itself does it like in my opinion a buddy heater heat feels like to me like a damp heat if, yeah, if there is no, such a thing. Yeah. It, we, we knew from having vans before that had a properly installed propane heater that vented even outside that yeah. propane heat was damp regardless of anything. Right. So we, we completely refused to go that way. We'd rather stay cold <laughs> than actually have the dampness in, in our unit. So you hear some people talk about the noise um, from the pump and sometimes they even say that the 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 gas tubing when the pump pumps up and down the tubing hits and knocks because it has a, a pump through it the, the, I, I mean uh, mine makes a, a pumping sound too but i i can live with that what about yours do you think the noise is is anything oh, even I, the I, fan i think it's very minimal like it's very very minimal and you quickly like don't even notice it, it right it's it's actually very low frequency it's not high high pitched sound that would annoy you Right. So it's just something that just becomes like a, um, like a hum. I know there, the exhaust goes outside, and in, in my unit I can hear the exhaust outside when I'm inside. And I don't know, it's probably louder outside than it, than it is on the inside of the vehicle. We don't hear it in here. You don't hear it, so, eh? So like, I, I don't know if that's just the way we have our floor, or... It might be, because yours goes out the metal, mine goes out wood. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we don't we don't hear the exhaust at all. Okay. No, absolutely. Um, what would you say about like fuel consumption, as opposed to, like a, a propane or what are the, the wood, uh, burning? Oh, it's the so cost. it's so little. Like we're we're shocked the amount of heat that we get, and it barely burns any diesel. Um, in comparison to wood, wood you're you're feeding that thing all the time. Right. So. Um, wood you have to have a huge storage area to keep all the wood um, <laughs> to keep yourself warm and and wood actually won't keep you warm like this one does um, when you hit certain temperatures like so wood is has a finite amount that it can actually warm up your oh really unit. i didn't know that either yeah <laughs> oh so wow when, when we were hitting minus 29 at home we could only get about 15 maybe pushing it Oh, 20 the, degrees difference so that means we're still below nine degrees in and you couldn't get no warmer we couldn't get it any warmer oh i so, see maybe wood only heats at well, certain it's temperature only so many btus period so this has, yeah this has a much higher btus now i i have a uh what do you call it um what do you call that thing when you point it at, at it and you get the heat reading one of those uh gun like affair oh and you can see. point it at something and get like the temperature coming out of there is a hundred and some odd degrees you wouldn't want to put your fingers in front of there when it's no. going full blast because I've, I've tried it and it's hot yeah um so the well i don't know does it ever get like obviously if you have it on for long it, it would get like too hot in here oh it, it absolutely gets too hot i mean most of the time if anything we just use it like for a short period of time just to warm it up in here and then we're we're good to go <laughs> yeah so like we, we would turn it off right away Okay, so now that we've heard all the good things, give me one bad thing that you, you, you don't like about it. 
Is there one? <laughs> or half a one? <laughs> half a one? I I don't know. It's it's compact, so it's small. See, it doesn't take much. That's effort. the thing. I've I've heard. It's efficient. I've heard other people say that a few things they didn't like about it, and I'm thinking that they're not telling the full truth because it's not like it's either they don't own one and they don't know how it works and they're just uh, voicing their opinion from other things that they've heard on but in, in my opinion too i i can't find even really really even one thing well quite honestly in the time that we ordered it and got it we watched several youtube videos about it and there was like things all over the place about it and most of the people were saying how loud and annoying it was we didn't find that <laughs> oh. when we put it in it was so quiet so before it didn't you match it didn't match what people were saying on youtube so, so you ordered one and then before you got it you were kind of worried it was going to be too loud exactly <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> but it, it didn't turn out to be that way it's very quiet and like i said it's a, a very low sound yeah or, or like a deeper sound so like you just become desensitized to it almost right away it's, yeah. it's not an annoying and I've, if it was a squeal <clears throat> or something that would be different and our our tubing doesn't bang against anything so right like we just have that i've never ran mine all night like when i was sleeping but i have turned it on just before i got up went to sleep and then woke up and i i, I go to sleep real easy i, I yeah. didn't it didn't stop me from sleeping Oh no, not at all. So, well, I mean, it, we did try it. Um, we did have it on one night that we left it on, and we were gonna leave it on all night long. We we both had to get up, like <laughs> maybe an hour later, and it, it was it was too hot. And that was at like we couldn't turn it down anymore. Yeah. So it it was just it was too hot in here. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, and you get a nice and nice thing is uh, no moisture on the windows yeah. like you used to get with propane. And Believe me, I don't care if it's a buddy or a wave, you're going to get moisture. There's just no way around it. That's a byproduct of burning a propane. propane. Yeah, exactly. So just, it breaks down into water. And this is just like your yeah. furnace in your house. It's just a nice, you, you could sit in front of it and it feels like a nice warm fireplace. Yeah. And, and super efficient compared to propane. Yeah. Like, I mean, we have had I would one say before, too. but um, de definitely would not go propane. And this is a uh, 10 liter tank yes which and, and if you go to the any gas station it's about a dollar thirty dollar forty a liter so that's fourteen dollars to fill that you fill that three times in a month that's a pretty good saving a yeah. dollar a day at two dollars a day perfect you know so uh, I guess that's just about it thank you Monica that was You're a great welcome. interview and <laughs> thank you Monica for giving your honest opinion and review on the diesel heater next we're going to go part three about the thermostat um, how to set it what the buttons do uh, every aspect about the thermostat and how to actually uh, program it is that i mean you can set it to stay on warm things up oh, yeah. and then shut off that's right and then yes. you can have it come back on before you get up in the I've morning i've heard uh, some people say that it never turns off that's false it yeah. turns off twice a day if you program it to. Yeah, yeah, it's just a matter <laughs> of programming, absolutely. So, and or, a way... Or even just having the little uh, fob as well. Yeah, right? and you get a little key fob with this thing too, which you yeah. can... I think it's from like, even a city block away, you can start it. Yeah. Maybe not quite that far, but from quite a ways away, you can start the thing. So, and if you're running any kind of uh, uh, propane heater, you got to get up and turn it off too. So, and this turns off automatically twice a day if you program it to. Thanks again, Monica, for your review. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Ring the bell, share, and comment. Love the comments, guys.